The Perfume Collector is a captivating historical fiction novel penned by Kathleen Tassaro and originally published in 2013. The narrative gracefully weaves together two distinct yet interconnected timelines, employing multiple perspectives to bring the story to life. Set in Paris in 1954, the tale commences with Eva D'Orsi, a woman grappling with worsening cirrhosis and a doctor's advice to abstain from alcohol. Plagued by anxiety-inducing flashbacks from her past, Eva seeks solace in cognac, all the while harboring mysterious intentions of donning her finest suit and consulting a travel agent. In 1955, Grace Monroe, a young and contented wife residing in Oxford, enters the scene. Her husband, Roger, enjoys a successful career, affording them a comfortable existence. While Grace appreciates their financial stability, she yearns for something more meaningful in her life, feeling an inherent restlessness. A letter from Paris arrives, bearing perplexing news that Eva D'Orsi, a complete stranger to Grace, has passed away, leaving behind an unexpected inheritance, comprising property and investment holdings. Bewildered by this unexpected turn of events, Grace's curiosity is piqued, prompting her to investigate the mysterious Eva. Attending a social gathering with Roger, Grace inadvertently witnesses his unmistakable affair with a captivating socialite, fueling her distress and self-doubt regarding her inability to conceive. Determined to rectify what she believes to be a grave mistake, Grace revisits the enigmatic letter and resolves to travel to Paris, aiming to uncover the truth behind the inheritance. On arriving in Paris, Grace is greeted by Monsieur Tizot, Eva's lawyer. Charismatic and alluring, Monsieur Tizot captivates Grace with his French charm. However, his demeanor remains strictly professional, driven solely by the task of swiftly settling Eva's affairs. Urging Grace to sell the apartment to expedite the inheritance process, Tizot overlooks her desire to delve into Eva's enigmatic life. Refusing to be dissuaded, Grace insists on exploring Eva's apartment, hoping to unveil the secrets concealed within its walls. During her search, she discovers that Eva was once the mistress of a wealthy man who had bestowed the apartment upon her as a gift. Furthermore, a business card from a perfume shop is uncovered, leading Grace to meet Madame Z, a woman intimately acquainted with Eva's past. Sensing Grace's genuine interest, Madame Z offers to reveal Eva's story, drawing her further into the captivating tale. In the year 1927, a timid 14-year-old orphan named Eva D'Orsi finds herself employed as a maid in a luxurious hotel located in the heart of New York City. Bound by shyness and isolation, Eva's life takes an unexpected turn when she encounters a captivating guest named Mr. Lambert, a charismatic gambler who treats her with kindness and engages in card games with her. As time progresses, Eva's infatuation with the older gentleman deepens. During her duties, Eva embarks on an intriguing encounter while cleaning the room of the renowned perfumer, Madame Zed. Captivated by the alluring scent emanating from one of the perfume bottles, Eva succumbs to temptation and takes a moment to indulge in its fragrance. However, her actions are not unnoticed, as Madame Z discovers her in the act. Surprisingly, Madame Z's initial outrage transforms into fondness, leading her to embrace Eva as a protege. In an act of nurturing, Madame Z introduces Eva to her assistant, Balmont, and facilitates her introduction to a young woman named Miss Waverly, adding new dimensions to Eva's life. Miss Waverly encourages Eva to seduce men to get what she wants. Miss Waverly, influencing Eva with her manipulative nature, encourages her to employ seduction as a means to achieve her desires. One fateful evening, Eva and Miss Waverly find themselves in the company of one of Miss Waverly's male acquaintances, prompting Eva to put her friend's advice into action. Tragically, events take an alarming turn, and Eva becomes a victim of assault at the hands of the man, leading to an unintended pregnancy. Miss Waverly and the man hastily flee the scene, leaving Eva to grapple with the aftermath. Returning to the hotel, Lambert reappears in Eva's life, and she decides to employ her newfound charm to captivate him. Lambert presents her with a proposition, if she becomes his partner and assists him in cheating at cards, he will support her through her pregnancy. Overwhelmed and desperate, Eva reluctantly agrees, only to be devastated when Lambert's definition of assistance entails forcing her to relinquish the child to his sister. Bound by her circumstances, Eva finds herself engaged in card counting alongside Lambert, where she reunites with Valmont, who has taken over Madame Z's perfume business. 
Inspired by Eva's presence, Balmont embarks on the creation of fragrances inspired by her essence. As their professional relationship evolves, Eva and Valmont's connection deepens into an affair. Together, they make the decision to establish a perfumery in the enchanting city of Paris, showcasing Eva's remarkable talent for both marketing and crafting exquisite scents. Their venture proves successful, with Eva's genius formulas captivating the market. However, she guards one particular formula closely, refusing to disclose its secrets to anyone. With the onset of World War II, tragedy befalls Valmont, as he is arrested due to his Jewish heritage, ultimately meeting his demise in a concentration camp. The loss of her beloved leaves Eva devastated and mourning the cruelty of the war's atrocities. Eva seizes the opportunity to leverage her successful perfume formulas and embarks on a quest to locate Lambert's sister, who happens to be married to Jacques Hiver, the esteemed owner of one of France's largest cosmetics companies. With tenacity and cunning, Eva manages to secure a position as the governess for her own daughter, skillfully utilizing the knowledge acquired from Miss Waverly. Swiftly, she becomes not only the governess, but also Hiver's mistress, employing her seductive skills to captivate him. In the year 1955, Grace reminisces about her own childhood, marked by the untimely demise of her parents when she was just eight years old. Fond memories of her cherished nanny, who provided comfort and support during the grieving process after her father's passing, resurface. Finally, Madame Zed reveals the truth to Grace, Eva was her mother. Upon her father's death, Grace's outraged grandfather banished Eva and strictly forbade any future contact with Grace. As events unfold, Grace finds herself approached by Jacques Hiver's legitimate daughter, who expresses a desire to acquire the apartment at an exorbitant price. In a gesture of peace, she presents Grace with a box containing small figurines that once belonged to Eva. Meanwhile, Roger, Grace's estranged husband, arrives in Paris, having become aware of the extent of her newfound inheritance. Seeking reconciliation, he attempts to reconnect with Grace, only to face her rejection. Determined to forge her own path, Grace resolves to remain in Paris and reside in the apartment her mother left behind. One fateful day, as Grace and her friend delve into Eva's belongings, they stumble upon the hidden secret within the figurines, an elusive perfume formula concealed all along. The revelation leaves them both astonished and intrigued. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.